Hello, welcome. My name is Aaron, and we are standing at Old Town San Diego State Historic Park, one of the most visited parks in California. Today we are here to welcome you to our virtual celebration of Mexico's Independence Day. Here at Old Town, we celebrate Fiestas Patrias, which are holidays that take place over five days in September, the most important of which is El 16 de Septiembre, or the 16th of September, or Mexico's Independence Day. Today we'll be making paper flowers, which is a craft that we often make during our Fiestas Patrias. Now it is our hope that you can make this along with us in this video so that you can have a little bit of the celebration at home with you. And next time, next year, you can enjoy the celebration with us in person. To make your own paper flowers at home, you will need tissue paper, scissors, and a pipe cleaner or other type of thin wire. First, take the tissue paper and cut it into squares. Depending on how large of a flower you would like to make, you can use four inch to six inch squares or even larger. The squares we will be using today are four inches on each side. Once you have your squares cut, you can take four to eight squares of tissue and stack them on top of each other. The more layers you have, the poofier the end flower will be. This flower will use five layers of tissue paper. Now, starting from the side closest to you, fold all the sheets of paper roughly half an inch up. Next, flip it over and fold the tissue paper again the same width as before. Keep doing this, flipping the tissue over after each fold until you have folded the entire square. Now, while holding the folded tissue paper so it doesn't come undone, Get your pipe cleaner and fold it in half over the middle of the tissue paper. Twist the pipe cleaner below the paper so that it will stay in place and hold the tissue. Open both sides of the paper around the pipe cleaner and then take the tissue paper on one side and carefully pull each layer up toward the center of the flower. This can take a while and you'll need to be careful so it doesn't rip. Once you're done on one side, repeat the same process on the other side. Paper flowers were first made in approximately 100 BC. The Chinese were the first to fashion lanterns, fans, and flowers from paper. These paper flowers, mainly constructed of muted colors, were primarily displayed in places of worship, including on home altars. The colored paper, called papel de China in Spanish, made its way to Vietnam, India, Europe, and finally to the Philippines in the 16th century through the China and silk trade. Manila galleons traveling to New Spain eventually brought the paper to present-day Mexico. In the late 16th century, the first paper mill was established in North America in the town of Culhuacan, close to Mexico City. Paper flowers were originally used to decorate churches during certain times of the year when live flowers weren't available. In some instances, paper flowers were barred from churches because they posed a fire hazard due to the introduction of votive candles. Over the decades, paper flowers became more extravagant, using bright colors and a variety of shapes and sizes. Paper flowers are often used as a substitute for natural flowers due to their ease of construction and the minimal cost to produce. Today, paper flowers are used in religious celebrations, weddings, and other festive events, including Dia de los Muertos, or the Day of the Dead, on altars celebrating lost loved ones. We hope you enjoyed making paper flowers with us. How will you be celebrating Mexico's Independence Day this year? Please let us know in the comments below. Viva Mexico!